Hello and welcome to Panther Plays Morrowind. I'm Natty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. And we were just about to head over. No, I'm not going to buy spells. I want to use one of your spells to travel over to Wolverine Hall in order to get to the Talvani Council. Oh, there. I want to try something. Let me see how much damage I take for falling down here. Only a little bit. I think in the beginning of the game this killed me, or it nearly killed me. So that's why I wanted to try how much damage I will take. So we're going to get to the council and see what our stronghold is doing. So I promise to tell you about the vacation that when you see this I will already have taken. I will already be back from, but while I'm recording this, uh, the vacation is still upcoming. So in, I think it's in three-ish weeks, but I uh, have long times between two recordings. So it's in about 20 days, that's uh, two and a half-ish weeks. Um, I'll be flying to the US to visit my boyfriend for a whole month, so I'll be gone whole March. And this means the first episodes in April also need to be recorded, and I don't want to go back to to, to arrive back here and then be in... I need to go downstairs to arrive back here and then immediately have to record um, to be able to produce an episode for you. I'm just pre-recording these. So we're going to head as deep as possible into the bowels of the council's uh, council's hall. So yeah, that's basically the motivation why I'm doing this. And one, the other reason is because I now enjoy playing Morrowind over playing Albion, which is the other Let's Play. But also Albion is already recorded. Well, I think until last week, so I do need to record two episodes before my vacation also, so I'm sure that the Albion episodes will be, uh, will also be like someone within March, so I'm sure I, to have enough time to record some new episodes. Okay, so I'm here to discuss my stronghold. Yes, I want you to check on your stronghold, which is being built on the alleged site of Ugrith's grave. I will mark it on your map. Go there and speak with Gajna Gra Mughal, the foreman in charge of constructing it. Well, we're definitely going to do that. Let's check the map. Telfir, Tel Arun, Ulverith's grave. So this is where we need to go. Okay. Hmm. Seems like this will be another travel episode, actually, because there is nothing here. Aldrun, then over here is very long. Yeah, it looks like no matter where, how we do it, it's a long travel. So I'm just going to take the direct route over the water. <laughs> Which might be the most boring route because we don't see anything on the water except for enemies. But on the other hand, it should be the shortest one. Heading directly over the water. So one thing in this game, or in this series of games basically, at least starting from this game is, um, because I don't know about the first and second game, uh, you, you, can, you can walk on water, you can tele teleport, you can fly, a little levitation spell, um, it's this-ish direction, so let's just do this, and then use our water walking. To head over. Uh, so, so it's very hard to design a game that allows you to do this, because if you, do, if you create um, a high mountain range to, to fence the player off, uh, they can just use the levitation spell 
and just levitate over that fence and be done with it. So that's um, that's a bit tricky. So it it of course causes lots of issues when playing the game. So it's kind of to be expected that there will be that there will be glitches about things like these. As I said, um, I think that was the last episode. So I'm recording these back to back, of course. Um, the, the Elder Scrolls series is ridiculed for its bugs, and it's still very, very much fun to play. Okay, there is this ship. I have no idea if we have seen this before, but I can just... There's, there's you. Just come, come a bit closer, because I want to absorb your health. I want to heal using you. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm still having water walking active, so I will be having a hard time getting into the ship. And the water walking effect is very long. It's still 30 seconds. So I'm just... Sadly, I can't just put a marker on the map. That would be awesome if I could just put arbitrary markers on the map. But the cabin actually is not flooded and it's completely empty. So it seems like I actually have already uh, used or uh, searched the, the ship. I fail casting water walking. That's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, uh, this is the rough direction I want to go to. There was a little tension in my jaw joint that I needed to relieve. So yeah, currently I'm, I'm a bit focused on that vacation, on, on finally seeing my boyfriend again. Because uh, it's, it's, it's not easy to have a relationship with someone who lives in a, at least 11 hour flight away from you. So... Yeah, I'm really happy to be able to visit him for an entire month, which is, uh, well, this vacation plus plus uh, uh, ha having time free, as you say, in between the years, which is between Christmas and New Year's, is basically all of my vacation time, so I need to either do overtime to wreck up overtime that I can spend, or I need to uh, to get unpaid vacation, which is not much of a problem with the company, but uh, I need to talk about that. I need to tell someone, hey, I need, I want to, I want you to grant me unpaid vacation because there is a process involved. There we go. I have contract swamp fever. Not much of a problem. What does it do? It drains some attributes, that's not much of a problem because it can just cure disease anyway. So I'm just going to... There are no other things that happen, no health being drained or something like that. It can't get worse. I just have these effects and people. some people won't talk to me anymore. So I can just heal myself a bit later. And yes, I'm, I'm currently just collecting everything here because I just want to have more things to do alchemy with. It would be kind of neat. Once I have my, my stronghold, I think I'm going to try and make an alchemy room where I have a chest or something with all the ingredients. Okay, I no longer am water walking, so I need to do this. And now I can continue running, and then I need to actually rest a little bit to recharge my Magicka. Okay, this over here must be the mainland. And there is a hut. That means that there is likely an Ashland tribe. I can also just, if I 
forfeit my water walking while collecting these. Doesn't matter much because I can just walk over here anyway. So there's a little... We will see who's there. Might be some enemies. Let me just save and then head over so we don't get any nasty surprises. And it's signal that we come in peace by lowering our, our magic hands. It's a single hut, so it, it's likely to actually be an enemy. What does it say? There is no one here. There's no one here, and it's it is someone's hut. I have you. And they're attacking immediately. I mean, okay, this is actually to be under it's fully understandable because um, we're basically trespassing here, right? He's super strong. Let's just leave him alone. He just he just wanted us to to not reach his privacy actually. So we're just going to not do that. Okay, so let's just heal here. He doesn't care about us being right in front of his head, but he doesn't want us to be here. And I just learned that when you do a destruction spell, even if it does not have a target, you still level up. Also, I should now do the um, cure common disease and get rid of these effects that I don't want. So it'll be a bit annoying actually to uh, take all the books over to the stronghold. But that's a thing that I might be doing in a time lapse or in a special episode where you just see me hauling the books back and forth and then so just to prove that I did not did not do anything cheaty off stream but I could also just do it off stream in the end because I'm just walking back and forth hauling my books okay let's save and see who this is because this person might any anyone who's just walking around might attack us when they notice that we're there so let's see who this is Go and what ahead, he wants. Stranger. So this is an Imperial. Take care, Black Khajiit. There are thieving Ashlanders about. A couple of them just robbed me of my Garhide shipment bound for Telarum. What about this shipment? Oh, they would be easy enough to recognize at mine as mine. I made sure to put my stamp on them immediately. Where are they? Yeah, a couple of them jumped me and took my hides. I didn't even see them coming. Sneaky those Ashlanders are. If you can get them back from me, I'd really appreciate it. Figure you might know this area a little better than I do. You can get if you can get them back, my father in Telerun will pay you well for your trouble. I swear it. Well, I'm going to help you. Excellent. Took me forever to hunt down those hides in the first place. Luckily, I found a good-sized herd not too far south of here. I'd really appreciate you getting them back, so I can make my gar hide shipment. Maybe I'll run across them one day, again one day. I'll be ready for them. So he said... I guess these... I, I guess he basically attacked their herd and they just took back what was theirs in the first place. That's what I actually assume has happened. And he just, being, being an Imperial, he just assumes that everything belongs to him because at this time the Imperials are the uh, occupants, they're occupying this area. So it's like uh, this area is under external Imperial rule. Here we see the little sprout. This is going to be our home. I'll be honest, I'm seeing this for the first time. I've never done one of these quests. I've never progressed in one of the houses to get my own stronghold. So that's nice. This is actually a very nice site. And there is the architect. Hey there. 
You hear about your tower? Tell Lunena, Laren, things are fine here. This, the work will be done soon. But what's your trade? I'm the foreman here at Tel Uvirith. I'll keep the workers in line and make sure the job gets done. Though these mushrooms just about grow themselves. Thank you. So basically that was it. It would be nice if I had to teleport here in some way, but maybe when it's done there is something that helps me to travel here easier. So back to... I did not put a mark there, that's, that's a bit bad, but wasn't there a temple or something? Oh, sorry. Divine intervention, there might be a fort there, but there might also be a fort somewhere else, but... Let's see, divine intervention. Yes, perfect. Stay out of Wolverine trouble Hall. And you won't get hurt. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. You sound like a broken record. See, I didn't get hurt. But that's very nice. Divine intervention going back to the closest uh, Legion Fort. Even though the Legion members are basically the invaders here. And back to the Council Hall. This is more interesting actually than doing the main quest because I have not yet seen the house, any house, any, any stronghold of any house being built. As you might notice, my concentration is starting to decline, so this will be the last episode I record for today. The last recording session actually was yesterday, where I got Yoni and now I'm getting Yoni again. It's a bit annoying, even though I did sleep better. Um, but yeah, I'm troubled by, by not great sleep actually, troubled by nightmares, and waking up often. But um, it's, it's something that will eventually kind of go away, especially when I'm, when I'm uh, in the US and, and in the warmth of Arizona, sleeping in the arms of my angel. That will be a great time. Three blessings. I really miss him and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing him again. Because he's just the best. But I guess that, that's what every every person says about their significant other, right? Virtue, so, about the stronghold. I am pleased to hear that the mushroom is growing so well. Thank you for keeping me informed. Your stronghold should finish its first stage of growth in a few days. A few days to finish growing. So I'm going to add a week. So where do I see the current date? I think it's in the rest thing. Here it is 292, and I'm just going to change the quest, check about Stronghold, to 297, and disable it. So, basically, just changed the number. So, what is there to do? As you can see, I just changed the number here. That's uh, that's the quest we're currently we currently finished, and I just changed it. So what else can we do? I have here train destruction to level 80. So let's see how far we are here. Destruction 83. Now this is this is um, done, and now I can adv advance to master wizard in the major guild. Okay. So let us do that. Let's do some advancement. Let me first check there more quests there are currently. Oh yes, there are. I do have quests. Um, I do have quests uh, enabled currently. The library in the Hall of Justice, searching for um, Galurithari's papers and getting uh, the ring, the Warlock's ring. 
somewhere east of Balfell. I don't feel like wanting advancement when I have quests to do because I'm unsure if this will disable the quest. So we're going to check Balfell. So I'm going to do this. So the question is, where is Balfell? Let me see if we can have it here in the... No. So let's see what is about the Warlock's Ring. A cave on a small island west of the ruins of Balfell. Okay, let me see if I use the quest. An island as east of the ruins of Balfell. The trouble is, I have no clue where Balfell is. Or that is, my character has no idea. It could be here, but here these are all tell something. So if I go, it could be it could be somewhere here, because this is Dagonfell, and here is Telbernora. Well, if I'm, I'm just pondering, should I? Yeah, I think I'm just going to. No, I'm just going to admit it. I did check where it is. I did check a map. And it's somewhere here. And I have no clue how to figure that out because I can't ask anyone about where that is. I'm going to check if I can ask someone in the council and if not, I'm just going to go there. Yeah, there is no, no way I'm not reading this because this is this really sounds more like rumors. I mean, yes, this this mistress something might have a quest for me, but I'm more of a guy. I'm going to become the guy who frees the slaves. If all. May I help That's you the exit. Down. Do you know where Balfell is? No, nobody knows where Balfell is. I'm pretty sure that this is. I guess you're just supposed to kind of kind of explore the whole world and then just explore these islands because they're there. So I'm checking I can go from Surin. That was a Silstrider destination, I if I'm not mistaken. Can I can I reach Surin via ship? Because there is water here. <laughs> yeah, that's. So I I think I did say that it's it's good that you that you don't have the quest markers that show you where to go. As the, because most of the time, it is possible to find where you need to go. I haven't heard to tell, tell Mora to Dagon fell. Go ahead. Oh, I think I'm going to... I'm just going to... Sorry, I'm going to go the regular way. I'm going to head over to the... Do I still have... No, I don't have the divine intervention anymore. I'm just going to use the Silt Strider from... Balmora to go to Surin, so I can actually walk over to the inn and check out these islands, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah, maybe I can, if I do the major Guild anyway and go from Balmora, I can also ask, see if I can ask in the major Guild if someone knows where it is. 
just to see how I was supposed to figure that out. Because as I said, normally you actually get the hints. You can ask where things are. Those two are still standing there. And they're talking in unison with the same voice. Because of course, if you make a game, you only have so and so many voices to record. Um, I find you most interesting right so I just now. checked if, if she knows where Balfell is. She did not. Jira, can you tell me where Balfell is? No, she can't, of course. How are you? And yes, I'm making this a little bit quicker. I'm not flirting with Ajira right now because I am Welcome, I'm kind of a little bit in a hurry because I just want to get things done. Yeah, but yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, that, well, that was actually the Suthstrider guy. So, travel, we want to go to Suran. And then just head over. This is where we had the faults. That one guy who claimed to be the incarnate, I think that was even him, whom we did not need to kill because we could talk him into believing. Let me just. Okay, that's the smith, but I want to check if the smith in Surin has glass armor. So the lower door is locked, but the upper door is open. Well, I'm not here to talk about Surin, but I'm talking about the Daedric. Daedric weapons are made from raw ebony, which has been refined using the craft of magical substances of the lesser minions of Oblivion. The process is not a pleasant one for the Daedra involved, and the weapon's retain echoes are of preternaturally preterna prolonged suffering enduring during manufacture. Daedric weapons are the most rare and expensive weapons. So this... I, I would assume that he has Daedric weapons or armor, but he does not seem to. And it's rather boring stuff that he actually has, but I can sell. I mean, it's not very, very expensive, so I can just sell the cures that I have. Say what you he want does not have any glass stuff. Okay, so that is good to know. So while I'm on the way, I'm just going to check the trader's outfitter. When I hear outfitter, I usually think I usually think uh, tailor, um, but that's not what they are. I think that's that's a uh, we, we Germans use the word outfit for the clothing that you wear. So that might either be an old English term or it's a false friend. What's this? A pawnbroker might also. I don't think that someone pawnbrokered bond of glass armor, but you can never know. There's a glass dagger actually that we can enchant. Um I'm going to put it here in the glass beggar. And then I have the child save how much? 4,000 gold. And we got glass dagger and a shan glass beggar. And then things to learn. Well, I guess a uh, rather, rather high enchantment skill, right? We have 22, I would say at least 50. So, um, learn enchantment 50. And then I'm just going to pull in so you see what I'm doing. 
So now I say glass dagger. Well, first of all, in order to get the glass dagger, I will have to, where is it? Uh, things to buy. Yeah, the thing is I can't click, uh, this is, I, I made this, for some reason I made this wrong. So I save up the 4,000 gold, I need to click on this plus icon. And then in order to enchant it, I need to first, ah, that's why it didn't open, I need to hover over the name. I need to get the dagger and I need to learn enchantment level 50. And now the to-do list should be correct. It should now show that I need to save up the 4,000 gold and that I need to learn enchantment level 50. There we go. What so this work? is what I'm doing. So this is the glass dagger that I would love to have if I can enchant it, that is. And even though the time is over now for this episode, I'm just going to head more south. I'm going to stop the episode right in front of the place where we're supposed to be. So there is no mistaking where I need to be. And what I need to do. This should be a general merchant. Sort of trade house. And it's locked. Do I need to head upstairs or is it just closed? And again, this is, it's, it's, it's also locked. So the trade house seems to be closed. That's the I temple, see. I guess. And I have lag spikes. Severe ones even. Wow. I have no clue where this happens, what my machine is currently doing to destroy performance. So yes, I want to go to Altsofa and then head um, east. Kinda. Basically continuing to head in this direction. There is a tower here. So this is something I could... This this must be Alt Sofa. And now you come to... So this will be a reason to explore things To If I go here and then see... And then see something. So this is... Is this somewhere that I've... Been. It does not seem like it. It seems like this is marked on the map that we haven't been there. And it looks like a Daedric ruin. I don't want to go cave spelunking now, I just want to go to the next quest. to get the Warlock's Ring. There is, there is a tower. This looks like a Dwarven Tower, actually. So let us see where this leads us. I mean, we're heading, we're heading along this coast. So yeah, it could be that the idea is you are here anyway and you're just seeing things, you just see these these Dwarven Ruin Towers and just go exploring. I guess that's the idea. And so you find the place that you're looking for. Also, if you know how the names are formed, then you might also have um, less trouble finding things. For example, if something says that Bal something is always name of a dwarven thing or a 
if that's always Daedric Ruins or something like that. But I guess it, uh, I guess it's a wizard tower. So we have found Nsanch, which is not... That's a bad thing, it does not appear on the map. So I'm just going to head south. I'm going to explore these now. But one thing that I can do is... Um, I can add them to our exploration list. To the Cave Spelunking. Cave Spelunking. M-C-A-N-C-H. That is East... Off. Where are we? Alt Sofa. Alt Sofa. So, this is also something we can do. If we don't know what to do, we can go cave spelunking. Unless we are sent to this place, of course, then we will be here earlier. So this is what Dwarven Ruins look like from the outside. That was the wrong spell also. There. So as you can see, the Dwarves were very, very far advanced. They do have ballistas. They do have siege weapons. So basically, the, I guess the reason why the dwarves were considered evil is because they were technolog technologically advanced. That said, I really love the Aelid ruins in uh, the successor of this game. So we're going to check the island to the south. Yeah, I know that I'm being attacked, but I don't want to stay standing on the water. So I'm going to... First, leave the water and then. Well, let me just use this. Too bad that this has no um, mana leech effect. I mean, I do have an item that has a mana leech effect. Nice plants, though. Red Lichen. I think I've never seen that in the game, like in the game world. This is a very nice place, actually, if you want to collect ingredients. It looks very nice. There's lots of stuff here. Yeah, that's actually... I like it. It's like kind of a nature oasis. Oh, there's even a... There's even a, a cave. So it's Hinabi. Let's write that one down. That one is... And also, also um, we do have the Msanch rune. Um, on our map now, it, it seems that once I left it, there it is, once I left it, it actually showed up on our map. That's nice. So I can use it as a point of reference for entries in our list. So I'm heading further south. Going to, not going to check out this huge landmass. Because that's very close to Vivek, actually. So I don't think it will be there. I'm going to check. There is, there is something here. Oh, yeah. So I guess that's the idea. There's so many things um, around here. Didn't kill off the rat. There's so many things around here. 
that you can just go and explore lots of things on these islands. There is another Daedric rune here. Wow, that's... A cliff racer just seemed to kind of hang in the air. Okay, I think I think on the way back we can we can basically backtrack and 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 check all the, all the places here because now I'm actually starting to get interested. The one is not, it's not there. Hey there! I don't believe I've seen a black Khajiit with such a grand outfit in some time. Can I help you? Uh, actually no, but what's your, what's your trade? I'm a barbarian and proud of it. I like the wilderness and know how to live comfortably off the land. I know the various creatures of the wild, know how to hunt them, what bits are good to eat, and what bits the city folk will pay for. I know weapons and armor and know how to stay healthy, so I can play soldier for pay. But I hate taking orders, so I'd rather live by hunting. Well, if thanks for answering that. For a tall tale, you've come to the right place. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. Basically, I just want to know what this place here is called. So I can... Oh, there's someone else. There's more than one person. Rogvar Bluetooth. For a tall tale, you've come to the right place. So there's... Band of Nord who set up camp here. Another one. Nice. Sadly, they only only say the same thing. They might, of course, be worshippers here. Because there's lots of them. There's even a woman here. Ringveld. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. I'm now just checking for... This is Palfell, actually, and is now marked on my map. That's good. So Palfell actually is a Daedric Ruin. I'm going to add it to the Cave Spelunking. I don't know if it has an entrance, if you can do it. Since it's on the map, I don't need to. So we want it to be east of Palfell. Okay. So yeah, definitely the idea must have been something like you, ex out of curiosity, explore these uh, islands because you see ruin after ruin, and then you find Balfell, and then you find the place that you're supposed to go, which is nice. The thing is that these quest markers have... There's another person. That's an Ashlander. Hmm. I am never too busy for a good talk. Lots of sounds around here. I'm going to uh, creepy. I'm going to skedaddle. So this is where where we want to go in this direction. And find a cave. So it could either be on the next... So the thing that I found on the map was Balfell. I did not find the cave. I did not look for the cave on the map. But this... It's basically a Google Maps powered map. Which shows all the locations of things. But I did not want to directly search for where we need to go. I just wanted to find this Balfell thing. And just to roughly know... In the case that that has been that has become true, in the case that we never get an indication where it might be, that we can actually find it. 
I was very reluctant in um, using that knowledge, actually. So I'm, I'm just checking this area because we're, well, it says east of Belfell. Um, it's south of Belfell. Uh, I'm just checking this area because maybe it is on the same island even. But I assume it's not. Wasn't there something about Betty Natchez being aggressive? There was something about Natchez that, that are aggressive, or was it only if they are if this mating season? So it must be on one of these islands, I guess. Let's see and use our water walking. Yes, I know I'm fully overdrawing the time of this episode. But I simply want to finish. Yeah, basically finish on a positive note. To have achieved something. <laughs> Which is uh, finding the cave that I need to go to for finding the Warlock's Ring. So there is an island here. And this must be Ashir Badon. Let's see if in Ashir Badon, perfect. So we found the place and this is where I'm going to end the episode. And next week I'm saying right in front of this, this means that I will know that we want to get head inside, which is perfect. Let me just rest first so I don't need to do this at the beginning of the next episode. And then we see each other next week. And I actually might record this episode after my journey to bright and sunny Arizona. So see you next week. Bye-bye.